Okay, it's May 30th. Let's see what's going on. I don't know what that says. 70% humidity. Of course, we're inside. I think it's pretty warm in here anyway, but... Inside the house is nice and cool. I got this door on. Somewhat. It looks alright. Seems to work good. <laughs> Four light duty utility engines. Uh, but they're they're doing a job instead of three of the other ones. Check these out, I'm cooking on my porch. I bought uh, one of these Tex Sport single burner propane stoves. I get it screwed down. See, I took a single hole pipe strap, and cut it in half, and sheet metal screw there, and a wood screw there, and she's bound down. I got some nice heavy duty foil from a what was it from? From a lasagna dinner thing, and uh, put that under there. I tried it at first without that, and I was like, "This is getting too warm." The wood was so that foil does the trick, man. I know no heat getting down there. I got it crinkled up so there's air underneath, so it can air can flow under it. And this is uh, the bottom side of a TV tray. Took the legs off. I can put it back together if I want. Uh, the thing with this is it, it tips like that because of this. It wants to pull it down. So that's why I strapped it. Boom, boom. It don't move. And I can take the whole unit, lift it up. You know, once the pot's off there. I take it inside, I can put it on the counter and cook. <laughs> or on top of my wood stove. If I want to. So that's flexibility, that's what I'm talking about right there. And the heat, it's fine. it dissipates by the time it gets up here, so I ain't, it's not adding anything to that. So it's pretty good. Yeah, that's half of the deal. It's kind of dark in here or something. I think that might be down a little. Done. Good enough. I can shut it off early and let it sit there in the hot water and keep cooking. I don't have to keep burning fuel. All right. Let's go outside. I still gotta put these that railing back on. Yeah. That works all right. I've got some, uh, what do they got? I got six mil plastic I'm going to put over that and then then put, the, put a good piece of tarp over it for a uniform color. On this side is screen. I gotta fix the screen for this thing here. Hello. I'd like to put a little doggy door for the cat. But for now, she can scoot in that corner there. She's been doing that. Yes, sir. I got to deal with the ants. They kind of, they kind of think it's a good, good way to get into the house. So <laughs> I don't want that to happen. So far, spraying a little off, right? right up in that 
crotch there, just a little off, so it keeps them out of there. They don't, they're like, I don't, I don't want to go in there, I, I guess, after all. <laughs> so that's all right. Oh, and I get drip edge issues, as you can imagine. Got a flat roof, water sitting up there. When it comes out, it wants to roll back under, so what I did, I pulled a string, some uh, mason string. Underneath as a as a drip edge, so that the water stops right there and just falls. And when it's raining, you can see it coming down, coming down the string. I don't know how long that'll last. Maybe I'll have to put a wire up or something instead. But for now, it works. I notice at night with the light on inside, it's like, it's like, hey, check me out. It's like, it's the, it's the Tonight Show starring Jason. You know, <laughs> so I might have to, I have to put a shade on that or something. <laughs> yeah. I uh. That little, uh, what is it, chest of drawers there we got from that camper, that ancient camper we bought. Uh, I held on to it, but that's what I get the stuff sitting on. It's small and I can move it around if I don't want it in there, it's easy. Uh, so that Coleman, I have a Coleman stove, one of those two burner ones that takes the the gasoline type fuel. I tried that in there but the deal with that is uh, the flame when you're starting it up it comes straight up in a column and uh, it wants to melt the inside. <laughs> it wants to melt that plastic so I'm gonna put a pan, a metal uh, I got a piece of metal shelving I'm gonna put up top there so that I can use that without worrying about it and the, and the column will come up and bang into that and it'll, it'll be no issue at all melting the plastic but I was able to use it so that's cool if I need to have a two burner set up outside I can use that if I can get by with a single burner I can use that So that's porch update. Yes, I like to. This is a really good idea. <laughs> now that I have this capability, I can cook things like spaghetti that emit a lot of moisture. I can cook them outside because I don't want a lot of moisture inside, moisture and heat in the summertime. Because I'm just making more work for an air conditioner. So, keep the electric bills down. I bought a uh, an Oster single burner electric, single electric burner for inside the house, and that covers my indoor cooking needs. <laughs> and my parents got me a good sized toaster oven for pizzas, so I can cook a 12 inch pizza in that in that oven. So I'm all set. The mice got into those the other two drawers, so those are rotted or mouse peed. There's some Coleman fuel sent in there for the for the other stove. That other stove is kind of clanky, makes a lot of noise. So this is cool because everything's bound down and ain't making any noise. I like it. All right, so that's that's enough of that. I just need a little bit of shelving. <laughs> I might replace this with just a fold up shelf or something instead of having this here. Maybe not, I don't know. Whatever, that's all. 
it's all doable later. Yeah, so I just cooked that out, cooked on this outside. Now I got it on my top of my wood stove, which in the wintertime I'll cook on. And do cook on now. <laughs> now that I stopped with the gas deliveries. So I could I can cook on that in here. If I don't if it's like in between cold enough for a fire, it's like it's too warm for a fire, but you know <laughs> I got options. And I can take this with me if I want to go somewhere, throw in the car. And I finally get to use these damn bottles. I mean, the only thing I got to use these things for is I have a lantern that I can use, and that's it. So they've just been sitting there, and what the hell could I <laughs> so, so now i got something to use them. And apparently you can refill them if you buy an adapter. Uh, and... Uh, you can go on YouTube and they'll show you how to do that. You get your uh, your big tank filled up and then you flip it upside down or whatever, and uh, runs through the adapter the adapter into that. So you can keep refilling those or whatever. See the bottom is still is cool. It didn't heat up at all, zero. So it's fucking beautiful. <laughs> all right, and. Uh, Here's that little oster. I turn the light on. Here's that little oster single burner electric. Which this is kind of chintzy. Feels it doesn't feel great, but all that works good. Has good good rubbery feet. That uh, little tech sport stove has hard plastic feet, which kind of slide all over the place. So screwing it down was. Really the safest way to go with that. And here's the uh, here's the oven. I got everything in front of it. So I'm just using this oven as storage for pans now. <clears throat> and uh, pot holders or whatever. So this this is a black and decker. I don't understand this door. It doesn't have anything to stop it from. <laughs> it would just go smash if you're not touching, you know, holding it. So that's kind of queer, but whatever. It's got a back in it that has a little scoop out of it so that this pan fits in there. It don't quite fit in the front, so I bent it. So I, I like that pan for pizzas, so. I'm damn well going to use it. So that works. For some reason, this gets super hot. It's like they didn't even insulate it at all. Maybe they did. I don't know. But yeah. it does work good, though. So. so that's my capability. I get. I can bake. Or I can heat indoor. Uh, I can cook on the top indoors. Because I got toasters up the wazoo. I love this toaster. I it's a Norelco. <laughs> so electric wise, I'm all set. But if the power goes out and I run out of fuel for my generator, then I have that little tech support stove and I have the Coleman stove with the Coleman fuel. But when that shit runs out, then I have to... I'll have to turn to uh, my wood gas stoves for outdoor cooking if I'm going to cook outdoors at all. So I'll have to perfect those and put a baffle up up top uh, in the on in the porch area to keep the the, the column of flame from or heat really from uh, melting anything. But that's the. Now I'm doing good. You know what I don't understand is that TechSport says, you know, it's a carbon monoxide hazard. But this is propane too. And I've been, you know, I don't get it. I can cook with this. Is there like a warning on this damn thing? No. 
<laughs> the stove works perfectly well, but I just don't want to. I don't want to get propane delivery. They they charge too much for just cooking gas. If I heated my house with it, it would be half price or something. But I don't want to. <laughs> so I can take that and I can put it on the counter and cook with it. Never mind that carbon monoxide warning. I think that they're just overprotective, protecting their asses. I wouldn't heat my house with it, so I don't really do that. Yeah, see, so I can I can lift it up. Pretty light. It's pretty light still. I mean, TV trays aren't massive. It's like three quarter inch thick. Pine, I guess. Alright, well, good day.